Landon doing some pull downs. Now he's down the pipe. Slider. The state of Maine is known for many things. From the obvious, like seafood and lobster, to the shoreline, to lakes, the wildlife, the cold, and so much more. I'm gonna give you a look into what life is like in the state during my four months that I lived there. Let's get into it. So during my four months there, I was attending Colby College in Waterville, Maine. And you know, there are a lot of people that have lived in Maine much longer than me. Obviously, I was there for such a short amount of time, but I still feel like I got the gist of what the state is like, and I'm really able to share that experience with everyone. So, Maine has many different cities. Let's go kind of town by town. So, start off with the biggest city in Maine, which is Portland. Portland, in my mind, is just like a mini version of Boston. It has such a nice charm with so much seafood. You have the boats there that are going to get the lobster. There's a cruise ship port. There are businesses, and it's a very nice city. There's a decent amount to do there, and uh, I recommend that if you are going to Maine, like, let's say, stay on the lake, stay in the cabin for a weekend, stop in Portland and uh, you know experience the vibrancy that the city has to offer. Then there's Lewiston. Lewiston is where Bates College is and again it's a very nice small town, kind of a stereotypical New England town. Um, Bates campus is phenomenal. I love how it's so interconnected within Lewiston itself. You literally can cross the street from the campus and boom, you're in the neighborhood. That's how interconnected it is. Waterville, Waterville very much like Lewiston, a small little town. Waterville is much more north in the state and that is where Colby College is. Colby is a little bit separated from Waterville but Waterville has its own charm. It has a nice river going through it. It has just, you know, the local restaurants, local shops, Walmart. And uh, I don't want to say it's a college town because it's not, but Waterville really thrives off of Colby. Colby does a great job in supporting the Waterville community. Then there is Freeport. Freeport is the shopping district of Maine. That is where the famous L.L. Bean store is where you get your winter clothes, your hunting, fishing, your wilderness gear, and obviously all the other stuff L.L. Bean has to sell. But there are also some nice designer stores there as well. There's also a Nike store, a lot of shopping in Freeport. It's your go-to destination if you wanna go shopping in Maine. Maine is also known for, besides its fishing, its shoreline, fishing, hiking, is actually hospitality. I found the individuals of Maine to actually be very warm, very friendly people. It's something that I didn't necessarily expect. I expected Mainers to be much more bitter. Maybe that's because I thought that, you know, maybe the stereotypical like hunting and camping individual i thought that they would be always be cooped up inside their house during the winter but then loving the outdoors when it's during the summer but their hospitality there is really great now relating to kayaking fishing water skiing skiing and snowboarding is mainers love the outdoors this is something that everyone knows that they do not go inside during the summertime, which for some reason I was thinking summertime, yeah, they're always outside, but wintertime they're cooped up inside. But no, even during the wintertime, they're always out skiing, snowboarding, uh, snowmobiling, and they embrace the cold because it gets really cold. I was shocked that I was living there from September or late August to the middle of December and it got cold around probably middle of September to the point where I was wearing a sweatshirt similar to a sweatshirt like this, sweatpants. And it was really like middle of October where I started putting on hats and gloves much earlier than I ever would have expected it to be. It snowed heavy before 
December 15th. I think we got many snowfalls of around a couple of inches before middle of December, but then like December 12th, we got hit with a major storm. Well, I guess for Mainers, it wasn't a major storm, but for me being a New Yorker, I considered it a major storm because it was like eight inches and it caused me to delay my departure from the state by two whole days. Then relating to the Colby campus, because as I said, I was at Colby, it is such a phenomenal campus. It is so expansive. It, the beauty of it overlooking on top of Mayflower Hill, you're overlooking a bunch of trees. You can see some like a windmill farm out in the very, very distance if you look closely enough. It really is remarkable. The facilities at Colby top notch, like the hockey arena. Wow, I love the hockey arena. I love the athletic center and just facilities as a whole. I would always be hanging out with friends. I would always be having fun at night, whether it's late night dominoes or just hanging out, roaming around campus, playing some squash, going on the hockey rink and all that incredible experience, incredible memories. Maine, would I, will I go back? Yeah, I will go back to Maine. I don't think I will ever live there at any point in my life. That's just more so because I'm very much a city person. If you love the countryside though, by countryside I'm referring to lakes, hiking, etc. Go there for a weekend. If you're from Boston, if you're from New York, it's not that far of a trip, right? If you want to get to really like rural Maine from New York, it's about a six hour drive from Boston, only about like three, three and a half hours. Do it for a weekend. If you have more time and want to spend a week on the lakefront, go ahead. Unfortunately, I never saw a moose. That's unfortunate. Aw oh, shucks. But maybe when I'm back in the future, I'll be able to see. I'll have to go much more north, much further than Bangor.